Picasso once said this. He said that all children are born artists. The problem is to remain an artist as we grow up. The arts teach children that problems can have more than one solution. There's so much that we teach in school where there is a right answer. Life is not a multiple choice test. I worry about people who don't embrace the arts as an important part, not only of school curriculum, but an important part of life, of the very fabric of who we are as a culture. You keep on doing this year after year because you have seen firsthand the transformative power of the arts. Skills like problem solving and teamwork, self-expression. These skills aren't just valuable in the studio or in the theater, but they are critical in the classroom and will be in the workplace. Schools, my friends, should not be boot camps for learning how to make a living. They should be places for learning how to make a life. What does band do? What does choir or art do? It gives that child an absolute reason to show up, to stay in, in order to continue to do the thing that he or she loves. Somehow we've completely internalized and accepted collectively this notion that creativity and suffering are somehow inherently linked and that artistry in the end will always ultimately lead to anguish. People would say, aren't you afraid you're never going to have any success? Aren't you afraid the humiliation of rejection will kill you? Aren't you afraid that you're going to work your whole life at this craft and nothing's ever going to come of it? Short answer to all those questions is yes. Um, yes, I'm afraid of all those things. If you're not prepared to be wrong, you'll never come up with anything original. And by the time they get to be adults, most kids have lost that capacity. Uh, they have become frightened of being wrong. And, and this fear is what causes us to be conservative in our thinking. So we might have a wild idea, but we're afraid to share it with, with, with anybody else. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path. And that's why it is so critical that we preserve arts education in our schools. It is absolutely critical because we know how important it is for our children's development. What do I discover when I look at artworks? What do I think about when I think about art? I feel like the privilege I've had as a curator is not just the discovery of exciting works, but really to talk about beauty, to talk about power, to talk about ourselves, and to talk and speak to each other.